In this example, we're going to solve the problem that says the base of a triangle is four centimeters greater than the height. The area is 16 centimeters. Find the height and the length of the base. I have a drawing here of a right triangle, but it's not necessary that the triangle be a right triangle. It could turn out that it is, or it might turn out that our triangle is a different shape of a triangle, perhaps something more like this. All we know about the triangle is that its base is bigger than its height. So let's draw one another triangle. Perhaps the triangle might look something like this. Now, what makes which side of this triangle is the base? Is it automatically going to be the side that is uh, downward? Not necessarily. It just depends on how we want to perceive it. What I mean by that is um, we're going to consider, if I want this side that's um, on the bottom, the way that I'm looking at it, to be the base, I just imagine drawing a perpendicular from the opposite vertex down and forming a right angle. Okay, so in that case, this would be the base at the bottom. We could also turn the triangle and look at it in a different orientation. But since I've chosen this to be the base, then the height would look like this. So it's possible if we had the black triangle, which is already a right angle, that this would be our base and this would be our height. But it's also possible the triangle looks like this. Either way, though, the formula for the area, and in this problem, area is important because they tell us the area is 16 square centimeters. Formula for the area is going to be the same, one half base times height. Okay, so let's now try to fill in some dimensions. Okay, so we know that our base is four centimeters greater than our height. So we're describing the base in terms of the height. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and label the height as x. And then we can label our base as four centimeters more than that, x plus four. Now, the other piece of information we know is that the area is one half the base times the height. So in this case, that means that our area is equal to one half x plus four times x. But our area is 16 square centimeters. So let's fill that in. 16 is equal to 1 half times x plus 4 times x. All right, now, whenever you have to solve an equation that has a fraction in it, it's a good idea to go ahead and clear that fraction, if possible, by multiplying both sides by the denominator, in this case, the denominator being 2. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So that means that I'm going to have 32 equals x plus 4 times x. Now, whenever we have parentheses, it's a good idea to distribute through those parentheses. In this case, that's going to give us 32 equals x squared plus 4x. Now, this type of an equation where you have a power of 2 is called a quadratic equation. And one of the methods for solving quadratic equations is to get zero on one side and factor the other side. And that's what we're going to do. So what I mean by that is I'm going to subtract 32 from both sides of the equation, which is going to give me, what is this guy here? Which is going to give me zero equals x squared plus 4x minus 32. Now the right side of the equation is a trinomial and we know that trinomials can be formed by multiplying two binomials together. In this case the first term of each would have to be x so that when we multiply them we get x squared. And then we look at 
the number 32 and the number 4 to determine what the second term in each binomial would be. The number 32 would have to be formed by multiplying two numbers together. This could be 1 times 32, 2 times 16, 4 times 8. Uh, what else could we do to get 32? Um, I think that's about it. In any case, since the 32 is negative, we're going to look at a pair of numbers whose difference, 4 and 8, add Okay, it looks like my computer's back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we found a pair of numbers that multiply to give us 32, and what we want is actually negative 32, so we're going to need one of them to be negative and one of them to be positive. I'm going to choose the negative 4 and a positive 8 so that they add up to a positive 4 in the middle. Here's what I mean. I'm going to have one of the binomials be x minus 4, and the other binomial be x plus 8. And then I'm going to check to make sure that the numbers I picked would actually multiply to give me the trinomial x squared plus 4x minus 32. So here I'm going to FOIL. First times first would give me x squared. Outer times outer would give me 8x. Inner times inner would give me negative 4x. Those add up to a positive 4x in the middle. And then last times last would give me negative 32. So you can see that x minus 4 times x plus 8 is x squared plus 4x minus 32. Now, why is it beneficial to have our equation written in this form? Well, if you think about it, these two so if you have two numbers, x minus 4 and x plus 8, being multiplied together and their product is 0, that must mean that one of them is 0. That's called the zero factor property. But the important thing is that you know how to break this apart and set each factor to 0. So either x is equal to 4 or x is equal to negative 8. Now let's think about what x means for a minute. x represented the height of our triangle. Now, are we going to have a height of negative 8? Probably not. Our height's going to be a positive value. So that means that we just found that our height of our triangle must be 4. And in that case, what must be the length of the base? Well, we know our base is 4 more than the height. So our base must be 8. More specifically, since we were told that the area was 16 square centimeters, what would the linear dimensions, the measurement x plus 4, which is a length instead of area, have to have for units? It would have to have centimeters instead of centimeters squared. And that's the solution to our problem.